Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today I have two 2019 Alfa Romeo Julias right in front of me here. The sedans are done in black black on black now i actually have been starting some sort of trend on my channel where i've been comparing paint job colors uh premium paints versus entry level uh base paints so this is another one of those videos and one that you guys had asked for in the comments below on comparing alfa romeo's volcanic black versus the alpha black and that's exactly what it's called alpha black volcano black so I'm comparing the two paint jobs, putting them here side by side for you guys to see because there is an upcharge between the two and you guys have to see if it's going to be worth it for you to go for the premium paint or to stick with the entry level paint. So I'm going to put them right next to each other, go over the specs of the cars and then see what you guys think. Now before we get started, I want to go over the quick specs on the exterior and interior of these two Alfa Romeo Giulia sedans. Now just a quick overview, you're looking at 280 horsepower inline 4 cylinder 8 speed ZF transmission for both of these cars. But you have a couple of different things as far as appearance that changes these looks. Okay, so for on the right, you're looking at the Alfa black paint comes at no charge. It's a standard color for Alfa Romeo. You do also have the Netto Edizioni package on it. That package is automatically gonna give you these nice 19 inch dark hole wheels. It's gonna give you the monochrome center cap here. And then with this specific option, we did the red calipers with the white script. All right, and then everything else is blacked out on the car. Now the mirror caps, you're not gonna be able to tell as much because obviously it's a black car, but it's definitely a dark meat own finish, which is not necessarily the same exact color as this. So it's more of a dark, dark gray or a charcoal gray color. You'll notice that the front grill is also done in that same dark meat own color as well, right up front. And then when you come along the sides here, you'll notice that the window sills or window trim along the moldings there is done in black as well. All right, then we'll go to the back to where you'll really be able to tell the difference with the black badge here on the Julia stamp there, and then the black exhaust tips there. All right, so you know that you have the dark package, the black package, Neto Edizioni package, tenant windows, and everything there. That's your exterior. Now for the interior of this car, you're actually on Rosso Red. So inside here, and boy, I do love these contrasts, you're looking at the Rosso Red. Now, not too many options as this is an entry level um, spec Julia. So you're looking at pretty much what the standard is that you'll get on this vehicle. This vehicle is actually a price of $41,000. So like I said, not too much more to be had, but this is still a good look for $41,000. And on the left side, we have the Alfa Romeo Julia sedan with the Volcano Black. All right, so the Volcano Black is a metallic flake paint. So you will definitely see tons of different colors and sparkles in this paint. Shows a lot of depth in the car. I mean, it just really, it's a really nice shining car. But does it do the trick compared to the Alpha Black? We'll see in a moment. But same thing with the Nero Edizioni package. Not gonna go over it because I just did it here. But same thing, blacked out front grille, mirror caps, window moldings, everything like that. Then you also have those 19 inch wheels. The difference here, as with these, you have the yellow calipers with the black script versus the red calipers with the white script. All right, so a little bit of different change here for the caliper color. Also in the interior, it's just the standard black. So Neto in the inside, as far as your interior spec. Now this car here is sitting at $42,000. Now you can imagine that the paint job will help move it over to where that $42,000 range is because most of the options here are pretty much the same as the one that we just went over. Now with the Volcano Black, you're looking at an upcharge of $600 for this premium paint. Now with the Rosso Competizione Red, you definitely saw the lines a lot better throughout the fascia of the Julia. Up front, you could really see how aggressive it looked. With the Volcano Black, it doesn't make too much of a difference as far as the look and the stance of this car. Now don't get me wrong, at $600, not a bad option to stand out just a little bit more. I do feel like the $2,200 
where you see that is really how immaculate that paint job is. This is a great paint job, but it doesn't really scream, you know, something premium. It definitely shows you that it shows some lines, that it has some flake, that it has some sparkle, but as far as a premium, premium paint, I don't know if it really does the trick there. Now you have to decide, is it worth the extra 600 bucks, which may not be that bad. Now I know that some of you brought up in the Rosso Competizione paint that when you do have it corrected or if you get any kind of chips or anything, the cost of upkeeping that paint may cost you a lot more than you would like just because it's such a special paint. It's gonna be something harder to blend and it's gonna be harder to fix or maintain to where if you have something like the Alpha Black, it's a gloss black paint. There's not much more to it. So, upkeep versus looks. You guys have to decide there. This still does a great job at showing the lines of the car. I mean, it still looks super silky smooth, super evil, blacked out, and it's a nice glossy finish. Now, when you, you know when a black car is clean, it looks sinister, all right? So this is one of those cases to where a clean black car can do magic. But what do you guys think about the metallic flake compared to the gloss flake? Like I said, it looks super good. Look at those, I mean, uh, the shining particles in the paint, the flakes everywhere. It just, it's something to be appreciated, but does it really do the trick as far as showing how good this car could really look. So you guys have to decide, which one do you think? To the left here, Volcano Black for $600. To the right here, Alpha Black for $0. Take your pick. Again, left versus right. You guys decide. And I know you guys are gonna have your preferences. You're gonna love the yellow calipers on this one here, but you might like the red interior on this one here. Or you may like the red calipers on this one here, but you may like the black interior on this one here. So I know there's gonna be some confliction over the car overall. You would imagine what you would spec out your Nitto Edizione package Julia with. But as far as exterior colors, what are you guys thinking? Comment down below because I'm going to go back and forth with you guys in the comments as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Help support the channel. Um, if you want to check out the Patreon and the links below, um, you can also help to support the channel that way. If not, you can just follow the social media links, check out everything else down there, and subscribe and click the notification bell for more Ron's Rise videos because I got tons of stuff coming for you guys even more than before. Definitely, definitely, definitely let me know what you guys think below. I appreciate your time. Hopefully you guys learned something here or you just saw for potential um, owners and for current owners, you know, what people think about these paints because when you do end up driving one of these, you're gonna wanna look your best and you're gonna wanna look the part for something that is strictly for you, not for anybody else. So I wanna hear what's strictly for you guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Be safe, be blessed, drive safe. We'll talk to you then. Peace.